All right, friends, today we're going to make rainbows. We're gonna start by painting a piece of paper blue for the sky. When you're painting, you need to remember that your paintbrush is like a ballerina. Ballerinas dance on their tippy toes. They never ever scoot around on their bottoms. So make sure that your ballerina is up super high on their tippy toes so that way you have a beautiful piece of paper when you're finished. If you booty scoot around on your paper, your paper could rip and that's no good. All right. Now, while you were gone, I drew the colors of the rainbow on your paper. You're gonna start by tracing the color red and putting red objects on it. You have a tray that's organized by color. I'm using little red pieces of paper here, but you have other red objects in yours. Some of it is tissue paper, some are different types of fabric. Then I'm gonna trace my orange line and put orange things on there. Maybe some orange foam, different types of paper. I can crumble up the pieces of paper if I'd like. Sometimes that makes them fit a little bit better. And it also gives your paper some texture, which means how something feels. Then yellow. After yellow comes green. Tracing the green line and putting green stuff on it. Then comes blue. Now you don't have a purple slot in your, um, in your container at your table. I will bring you a purple pom-pom and you simply glue that right under the blue. Now I have a rainbow. I'm gonna make my rainbow some clouds with cotton balls. I'm just putting a little glue on my paper and then sticking a cotton ball down. I think I want clouds under each side of my rainbow. Now my artwork is almost done. I have a rainbow that follows the Roy G. Biff rules. Very cool.